Do you also agree that Brett Veach needs to make good choices for a good future of the Chiefs? But first, I would like to say that if you, like me, are a fanatical fan of the Kansas City Chiefs, subscribe to the channel, because I will always bring you daily news about the best team in the NFL, our beloved Chiefs. It is almost universally agreed upon that the Kansas City Chiefs' three most significant needs this offseason are wide receiver, offensive tackle, and defensive end. No matter the order of priority, those three positions are a must-address for the Chiefs before the start of the 2023 season. They would have had to address those positions regardless of what happened with Orlando Brown Jr. and Frank Clark, but with it looking like neither will be in Kansas City for 2023, the pressure to improve those positions only gets more significant. Up to now, the Chiefs' investment history in those positions under Brett Veach could have been better. While Veach has done a great job building the roster and strengthening areas of weakness, leading to two Super Bowl victories, he has room to improve on hitting at the most vital positions. Conversely, the Chiefs won the Super Bowl less than a month ago with issues at the same positions. While all honest truths, is that realistically replicable? Kadarius Toney is an extremely talented wide receiver but has yet to show the ability to stay healthy. Skymore is a promising player but barely saw the field during his rookie season. To the offensive tackle solution, Lucas Nyang has missed more games than he's played. Darian Kinnard and Prince Tiga Wanogo haven't played real snaps in the NFL. Lastly, George Karloftis and Mike Dana are lovely pieces in the defensive end room, but outside of them, the Chiefs need pass rushers they can rely on. It's hard to say the Chiefs shouldn't have spent four top 100 picks plus a significant contract on linebackers and a first-round choice on a running back, as well as other investments, because they have won multiple Super Bowls over that time frame. However, some argue they still would have won those titles and been in a better position moving forward if the team went about things differently. This offseason, the organization is expected to address the needed premium spots. At wide receiver and defensive end, the best strategy is to throw bodies at the position this offseason and hope for the striking of gold. With the most significant asset and possibly more going to left tackle, the Chiefs probably won't be able to get the big names in free agency or the draft. If Kansas City is to continue its run of dominance, the franchise will need to find weapons for Patrick Mahomes, linemen to protect him and pass rushers to get after the opposing quarterback. We have reached the end of another video. Check if you subscribe to the channel and left a like on the video. Until the next news.